Hi, I was recently asked about um, a prime number programme and uh, I was asked whether I could produce a list of prime numbers rather than just check if something was a prime number or not. So I sort of sat and thought about this and it's actually um, reasonably straightforward but there's a few little issues um, to deal with when you're, you're doing this with, with uh, flowing with them. So I've got two examples to show you. The first one was the solution I put together and the second one is a solution uh, a friend of mine put together at the same time while we were talking about some of the issues with uh, getting a list of, of prime numbers. So both of these are available to download uh, um, there'll be a link in the YouTube video. Um, this is my version so we start off by declaring our values at the top. I bring in a limit and then I use two for loops. The first for loop goes uh, through all the numbers up to the limit. The second for loop goes through all the possible numbers between that and the limit um, performing your modulo on it to see if that number is prime or not. If the prime is, if it's true, it outputs it and we get our prime numbers. So that's done with two for loops. So I'll just leave that there for you. And then I'll run it. It asks me for numbers. Let's say I was looking for prime numbers between um, 1 and 100. Uh, press enter. And then there's our, our list of, of prime numbers. So that's one way of doing it. The, uh, the second way, um, let's have a quick look. So this is the way my friend uh, Jim did. Um, so it, rather than using, um, I think did he used two for loops as well. Yes, yes, yeah. So it's a very, a very similar solution. It's just his, his logic here is slightly different. So again, same idea here. Um, there's the number to the limit. Um, that is his um, oh, that's a while loop so he's used he has used a for loop and a while loop so here he's used a while loop instead so this is his logic here um, that works out the prime again you can see look the uh, the modulo but he's doing the reverse of me he's checking if it's not uh, here rather than if it is so this checks if it's a prime number and if it is a prime number it drops out where the my version checks if it's not a prime number and works the other way around um, so if we run that um, again I'll do a hundred and again we get a list of the prime numbers so I'll leave that up there for you to have a look at so you've got a version here that's checking if it's not equal to zero the modulation so that is am I prime number breakout and we've got the alternative version which checks here if it's not a prime number and triggers a fault there otherwise assumes it is prime so it works the the opposite way around. So two very um, similar solutions, one with two for loops, one with a for loop and a while loop. So I hope that answers your question. Um, if you've got any more questions feel free to drop us an email.